Instead of letting a vacant school become a playground for scrappers, a local pastor wants to buy it and then use it to better the community. But instead, he's getting a crash course in red tape. Let's get to Action News reporter Ronnie Dahl. Ronnie, what gives? Well, I'll tell you what, it seems like a win-win to me. The school is sitting vacant. The church across the street could use this space to help the neighborhood. But right now, it appears as if miscommunication stands in the way. At Hutchinson Elementary, sounds of kids learning and children playing are gone, replaced with silence. The school is one of many owned by the Detroit Public School District sitting vacant, but it doesn't have to be. But you want the building. Oh, absolutely. W.J. Rideout is the pastor of all God's people. His church sits in the shadow of the school. I would love to have the school and to put it to good use in our community to help the seniors, the youth. People who live in the area wouldn't mind seeing it used for something positive. There's no community centers in a decent mile radius, so it'd be nice for the kids to have somewhere to go. Instead, it sits. We spotted a window open, an invitation to thieves. They've already started on the outside with the barbed wire fencing. People are trying to, and they have been attempting, and they have been going in and out, uh, um, trying to scrap, and we have been uh, running the people away. While this school is still in good shape, that's not the case at other vacant DPS schools. They've been picked apart. The pastor doesn't want the same fate to fall on this school, so he's tried buying the building, even got to the talking money stage. What's been the roadblock? A uh, change of administration, everything's deadlocked, paperwork's lost. Nobody from the Detroit Public School District would talk to us on camera. In the city of Detroit, if you leave a place sitting, uh, they're going to totally uh, destroy it. And it's going to be an eyesore, it's going to be a danger to citizens, and we don't want that. Yeah, really, nobody wants that. Now, late this afternoon, a spokesperson for DPS tells me that their records indicate they have no offer on this property, and even if they did, they don't negotiate through the press. Now, they are in the process, the district is, to try to sell off all this surplus real estate. They do have a developer's conference scheduled for next month. For now, we are live on the city's east side. Back to you. Oh, Ronnie, I applaud the pastor's efforts to do something there, but it appears to be a pretty big building. Can he handle that big of a building? Yeah, you know, he's pretty accustomed to accommodating people in the community, so he says he does, and he says he can, and you know what, it's better than sitting there because yeah. we all know it's probably not long before there's not going to be much left of this yeah. building for the district to try to sell off. Yeah, yeah very Good true. Good point, Ronnie.